Congratulations to all the finalists. It's an extraordinary honor to be um, reading with you this evening. I'm going to read a poem from my book, Tripas. It's a poem titled Antenna. Tuning not lute, but car radio. Cocteau's Orpheus copies the broadcasts from a netherworld for verses. His muse a circuitry my grandmother inspected nights at Motorola. Before her shift, she put me to bed, laid down beside me, and smoked parliaments. Each drag like tower light to planes overhead. From crest to crest is wavelength and frequency the number per second. Where the waves won't reach, we call shadow, count the radio's components like prosody, diodes, triodes, tetrodes, and dial the frequency in meters. Jack Spicer cited quasars, quasi-stellar radio, traveling light years as possible sources. I remember Orion, one slick matador, Theo called him, up on South Mountain, leaning on towers red-eyed with warning and somehow by frequency, by transmissions I vaguely knew, drunk with music. With ham operator, Paulina Oliveros, sent a hello to the moon's tympanum. It bounced back, dropped in pitch by Doppler effect, and she accompanied the sound on accordion. Anana is lullaby, cradle song. I tell my mom, Anana now, and we talk about how neither of us had heard that before. Cancion de cuna, the lacuna we hum and tune by, its tonic note, accord not, we worry, and tease on with night song. One grandmother with Vicks, one with tiger bomb, rubbed fires of camphor and mint, old poultices into my chest their palms kneading and wet with salve, its menthols to strip the chaff and rattle in a night wheeze. Can you hear their lullabies? One like the dicho chiquito pero picoso. One in all five tones of village dialect with wish hum for thresholds. They put to bed each name for the night. In Cocteau's version, Orpheus crosses over through a tailor's mirror. The carnival house optics of Marx's commodity fetish, I thought, or my father in Phoenix stocking the reach in with old Milwaukee and seeing in the glass a brief moment his own reflection. Aigu tells me great-grandfather frequented Chinatown fortune tellers, ones with charts and calendars, a crystal ball almanac for a paper sun on a paper path, a celestial divination in the back room of butcher or herbal shop or a corner store like our own, where Till Bell drifted back to find Ying Ying, her walk kicking spark off stove flame, or find me at a desk, my father fashioned from Schlitz 12 packs for weekends homework, me copying out my name, a dotted line running through its center, and not knowing the silences, not knowing then the cost of turning back to see. In today's news, U.S. troops install the miles of border 
razor wire, so-called concertina for the coil that extends and flattens like the bellows of a squeeze box. Listen to everything all the time and remind yourself when you are not listening, instructed Oliveros, a composer of sonospherics, a Qigong student of quantum physics. In practicing, she once explained, I have experienced listening with the palms of my hand. Thank you. <clears throat>